I bet you're thinking this painting is half done already and you're probably right. What it was was a canvas where I painted just two trees side by side for a short video. In fact, this video up in the top corner and I didn't want to waste the canvas. So I basically just give it a good old going over with a bit of bluey gray white color. And we've got this. OK, so we're recycling the canvas, which is a great way we can do a bit of practice and then get into a, a, a nice, decent painting. What we're going to paint, actually, is a seascape with a big lightning ball and a little small area for the sea down at the bottom. OK, all going to plan. Could go completely wrong. I'm going to take a little touch, a, a dusting of uh, cad red, OK, or bright red or whatever red you've got going, really. Of course, it won't stay red when it goes on here. It'll go a very grey. And it's only a dusting. It's going to go a very grey, you know, purpley, crimsony colour. I just want a little glow there, a red glow just on the horizon line. This is still pretty, I, I wiped it in pretty well, but it's still damp. Okay, still wet. Okay. Yeah, a bit of movement in the sky. Bit of, you can still see a few little bits of the... The branches of the trees there so we'll have to work on that with the clouds which we will do okay right what we're going to take i'm going to take a little bit of blue and black and maybe a touch of brown okay whatever we've got going on the brush okay a big paddle brush i love this okay so slightly off center and we'll go about there and i'm just going to pull straight down in an angle like that okay again push on and pull down in an angle okay and that will give an indication far away of some some rain or some something that's coming through there. OK, may even pick up a little bit of that grey white colour as well. There, like that a little bit of lightness showing through there. OK, and go in the same direction. Try and keep the angles to the same way on a bit of darker colour there. So a little bit more of that just there like that. Yes. I like that. Don't worry about this. It does look like foliage and landscape, but it's not. It's going to turn into the sea eventually. OK, so that's a nice big flat bottom cloud. That's where the rain's coming in. OK, we'll put a bit of darkness there. So a little bit of what I had mixed is a bit of burnt umber and black. OK, on the palette. And we'll just try and smudge some of this in there. OK, just push it in, push it around. OK, maybe a little bit more. In fact, that might be a bit too black. So I'm going to grab a little bit more of the brown. What we put on, we can always wipe clean as well if we don't like it. But I'm going to put that there like so. And I just tease it up into the composition. OK, go over that part. Yes, like that. Again, it gets softer and softer the more you blend the more you blend these things. Now, where do we want those big major clouds to be? Where's where's this lightning bolt gonna live? Well, we want this lightning bolt somewhere somewhere around there, I think. I want maybe it comes down there. Okay. That's why people wear gloves sometimes. Alright, same black and brown mix. Okay, maybe throw a bit of blue in there as well. Uh just on the big brush, this big, it's two inch. Uh, it's a flat paddle brush, put my teeth back in. I've had it some time and I'm just going to start off. We'll start off there. Why not? It's as good a place as any in the sky. That's where we usually find clouds. Yeah. All right. So just put in a few bits and pieces up there, wherever you want them to go. In fact, wherever you don't want them to go, just put them in. All right. Just just put a bit of something, a bit of color. We want a bit of something. Maybe leave that blue spot up there. All right, just give a bit of depth to the painting. Come, come down there as well. This is wet on wet painting, you see. So this is wet oil paint. And we've got, obviously, thicker, wetter paint going on. Uh, we'll just tease that in. Like that. We'll, we'll define lots of this as we progress through the composition. All I'm going to do now is just... Go over the whole thing, just blending it together. Use very little paint. Little and often is the key. If you put lots of paint on in the beginning, in the beginning, yep. Yeah. Um, sounded like a sermon there, you know. In the beginning, 
Back in 1955, hey, ACDC had a lightning bolt, don't they, you know? Anyway, what we're talking about. So, yeah, if you put too much paint on in the beginning, you, you, you end up having to really work it either in or blend it out or whatever. And I don't really want to do that. Just want to just want to give it a, a little bit of a flavour and then work it. Flavour and then work it. Okay, I'm going to go up and down with some big strokes as well. I can't see the whole of this canvas because of the glare from the from the lights. Okay, but uh, you can. Uh, hopefully you can. If you're still watching. All right, most people turn off. Well, most people fast forward about now to the end. See what it looks like. And there we go. Right, anyway, so there we have it. I'm going to put, I'm going to grab, while well, we've still got that dark on the brush, I'm just going to, where this cloud is, maybe put a little bit of something there. There, like that. I think we can paint most of this painting with this big brush. Uh, okay, where well, we've got that going, we'll just pull some of that down into the rainstorm and up into there, off the canvas. It goes! There we have it. All right, maybe even a bit more teasy clouds going in there as well. All right. Now, I potentially should take a step back, maybe, at some point. Um, do I wash the brush or do I just go straight in? Uh, I'll tell you what I do. I'll wipe it. I'll wipe it. Okay. I don't like washing the brushes if I can get away with it. Not because I'm lazy. But I like to build a layer of colour on the brush and that will show in the in the, in the composition. Okay. So wipes, lint-free tissue as well. I'm going to take a bit of white, titanium white, but because it's got all that dirt on the brush, that, that grey colour. It won't stay white for long. Okay, so let's put in a cloud, uh, no, the highlight of a cloud. We're going to have this lightning bolt somewhere about there. So we'll work around that and we'll go up here. Okay, and just carve this in. I'm going to have to hold the palette. A couple of soft plastic trays that I used to, to put the paint in on. And clip them to the, the workbench down here and they seem to work all right okay so we put a bit of white on which is not white it's gray a little big gray when it goes up here there we have it and then just tease that together and the stuff that comes off the brush and the stuff that's on the on the on the palette oh, sorry, on the, on the painting will blend that's why we like oil paints we can blend can't we we can blend nice and easy okay i'm going to leave that tight top edge just there just let me fix this before we carry on may i edit that bit out i don't know if i can be bothered all right so again we'll go here as well and we'll put this on again keep your strokes moving nice and loose look where i held the brush really at the back really keep it loose all right the looser the better Juicy Lucy, yeah, uh, something in here as well we want. Look at the movement in that sky. There's nothing more dramatic than going to the coast, seeing the sea and actually seeing the movement of the water, movement of the sky. And it just makes you feel, well, it makes you feel great to be alive, but it also makes you feel a little bit, you know, insignificant, you know. But we all play a part on this fabulous place we call home which is earth yeah and there we go so we've got a little bit of movement maybe put a bit somewhere there as well what's it looking like maybe even down towards the horizon line i've got to find out where the horizon line is and do i have a beach i don't know don't know you guys will know because you'll see the thumbnail that's if i make the thumbnail the actual painting all right so let's put a bit there and then just tease it, tease it, tease. Right. What I may do, I may pick a bit of brown up, or yellow ochre even. Once I've uh, done this, the yellow ochre gives a nice, warm, uh, heavy, cloudy glow. If that's a word. You, you, you know, sometimes when I look at big storm clouds and they've got a bit of yellow in them, you think, whoa, this is a big, big heavy cloud. And that's what we're going to try and put up here on canvas. Okay, again, there's not major amounts of paint, it's just thinnest of layers, 
but it's not thin paint okay i'm gonna just pick up have i got yellow ochre just a touch there it's pretty dirty from the painting i've previously done so it's gonna be a has it got green in it no but it may have so we'll just see where it goes on the side there you might not even pick that out on the side there okay and we'll put a little bit of something around there as well just tease that in and of course we'll have something up there as well so we've got a couple of different colors going on now in fact let me grab just dab most of that off i'm going to touch of the, the red which we had down here you may even the sky is on fire there we go just a bit of red in there as well don't forget this side okay do we clean this brush again no we don't we don't clean the brush down okay we may have to clean his hands though because uh, this is a, a mucky business all right just wipe off most of the excess okay and then i'm just going to tease it all together just blend 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 gently does it okay it's not a soft brush though so this is the only problem with this thing it can get a bit scratchy at times all right natural bristle and it's very 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 scratchy if you put too much paint on okay there we go and across there like so and let's just tease this together as well i want a bit of movement like i always say a bit of movement in the sky cannot hurt anything okay forgive the arm and the, the head may go out of shot and all that lot but you know where i am where am i I mean, look okay so there we go there we've done it done it done it done it and done it okay don't worry about the lightning bolt okay just don't worry about that just yet okay i'm thinking i'm thinking palette knife time so let me grab the palette knife okay little trowel knife let's grab some of this white okay and it's obviously not pure white on the palette it may be a little bit pure white but it's not as soon as we get up there it's going to brighten everything up because the lightning that's coming through will give a massive amount of light won't it so we just want to highlight some of these clouds just like this okay like that maybe it comes back down there and just put them on with a little trowel knife Okay, you get closer to the canvas with a trowel knife rather than the the uh, the big putty knife or whatever it is. Okay, maybe a bit up here as well because the lightning bolt's going to come from the very top on this composition. It doesn't always have to do that, but it, it can do. There. Yeah. And we'll just throw that in. Remember, clouds are very irregular. It's very rare to see two clouds that look exactly the same. see you probably need to work on this part as well so we'll do that in a moment we'll just tease that in around there blend it back like that okay now but just because we've got dark uh, sorry we've got light colored up there we can't forget the dark so it may be the case where we have to put a bit of more dark color on there as well Whatever we've got on the map knife, we'll just tease back into there like so. And just blend that up. Blend that up. Now it's usually about now where I take a step back and think, gosh, what have I actually done? Do I blend it out? Edit it out and stuff? I don't know. Right, I I have got a soft brush. Okay, I am just gonna just tease the base of that together it's a lot of thick paint on there i want to leave a lot of it to set okay and what i mean by say is just give it a couple of minutes just to just to be where it needs to be if that makes sense it won't dry but it'll leave a, a little bit of an impression and we can just either flatten it off or scrape it off and it'll give us a nice um a, a nice effect there okay but i just want to tap this where the highlight has met the major cloud like so there we go like that okay so just leave that for the moment let's go back to the palette knife 
okay make sure it's clean because i want to get some whip without putting the brush in the paint let's get some of that dark color okay some of that dark color so it's just burnt umber and black about 50 50 on the palette knife okay and we're just going to take some of this color so it's the same color basically that we've got on there but we're going to put a little bit of stronger detail where do we want it where do we want it where will it go there it will go okay just a little bit of strength in the shadows of these clouds okay a little bit of strength all right and then same on this side obviously we need some on this side so so a bit there grab a bit more paint helps if we paint we paint doesn't it okay so a bit there like so like that we'll create all the deep dark shadows cast from the lightning strike okay put a bit of something up there okay i painted something very similar to this uh in landscape form so did leave that grassy color there but um i think this will be nice with a little bit of water and a bit of sea okay just down there like that and maybe a couple more touches in here as well just tease it in tease it in and cost it looks quite heavy uh, at the moment it, it looks a bit odd but we will make it we'll refine it okay we'll refine that in a second okay just tease them around blend them blend them there's something there we haven't forgot the lightning bolt have we we haven't forgot that whatever's going up there we'll go up there clean off the old palette knife down there as well like so let's grab a tissue now wipe wipe the palette knife off okay wipe the palette knife off nice and clean and i'm just going to push down on top of this big thick clumps of of white paint okay and i think i can even just keep wiping the knife and we can go into the dark colors as well okay and this is not finally done okay i'm not going to just walk away from the, the dark parts as they are um and, and i do need to hit them with a blender brush okay a soft brush see that's quite thick there and it's quite nice to have a bit of texture in your painting in your composition people look for that they look for you know when you're selling paintings they look for big clumps of oil paint a little bit of, a bit of it just gives it a bit more mm doesn't it okay it's nice and clean so we can just pat that down smooth it in into the painting see drag it along and even blend with a palette knife together like so there we go look at that like that i don't like these sharp as arch edges so you can just push 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 there like that bit there pat 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 Yes, she used to be on EastEnders, yeah, telly show, pet, pet, okay, anyway, less of that, more of this, okay, so we've got his clouds there, back to the blender, okay, the soft blender, okay, and I'm going to start off in here and just tap, okay, just tap and tease, if you tap it, it will get light, and if you blend it in a big circular motion, you can end up creating nice uh, you know movement effects and again that's what we're after so a bit of tapping and a bit of movement never never hurt anybody okay there like so so we've, we've, we've dulled it off a bit we've taken off any harsh marks anything we don't like we'll just keep tapping and it'll merge into the composition won't it okay and again there like so and again on this one tap 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 and pat tap and pat tap and pat <laughs> sounds like a, a double act yeah you know who are you tap or pat we don't know we don't care just as long as you do your job and doing your job is creating a nice painting up here right again just these don't want these left out just tap and pat there we go okay i've got all the muck on this corner of the brush so if we flip it around it should be relatively cleaner okay and then we can just lift and tease and swirl like we said just lift and tease and swirl okay that could be tap and pass 
first song lift and tease and swirl there we go so it's easy to do it from that side so this side i just stood at the side of the canvas but i can't so we'll make do we always make do don't we that's what artists do we make do we improvise we adapt and we overcome okay there we go like that right i think we're about ready for some in fact do i want some glow coming out of the cloud that might be a nice thing okay what's on this what's on this let's grab a little bit more of that titanium white gray you mixed and maybe like that okay some glow coming coming out there all right and then again just tap and pull tap and pull there like that like a ray of light coming from between the clouds i'm going to grab a bit more black and just settle that down there like that it's not black it's brown and black okay and just settle that down into the painting back to the blender and just tease that in like so there we got it there we have it okay now they might not be fully straight okay but you know how to do them now so you can go ahead and do them okay uh well i've got that on the go i think i might put a bit of pale color there as well in fact do i want a bit of blue in that i don't know do i do you want some blue in that why not just grab a touch of the the ultramarine i think if we put a bit of blue down there and we've got a bit of blue up there then we can have blue in here yeah we can't have blue here if there's no blue up there does that make sense i hope so okay just tease that away like that very nice very nice okay right um w let's work on the the stream so let me grab a brush what's this one it's a soft filbert brush so we'll grab that and i'm just going to add a tiny touch the tiniest touch of the bright red to that that white paint and i'm gonna come all the way down okay and, and across have a bit more of the white paint and i'm gonna throw a bit of blue in that so it'll purple it off purpley bluey red color okay and where we're gonna go we're gonna go this way and we're gonna go that way okay and it's gonna come down there as well all right don't worry about where it has actually gone okay uh because we can refine it as we go this is just a little bit of an aurora or whatever they call them nowadays um <laughs> the light the light show okay we'll put the actual main beam of uh lightning in in a moment okay but i just want to put a bit of that color on there so again it's just a, a purpley purpley color and now you can add any kind of color you want if you've got like a magenta or a liz and crimson or phthalo blue is a good one there you go like that okay I'm going to get a different brush. This one's soft. That's nice and soft. So again, I'm just going to tease this. I'm just going to tap on that. Just tap, tap. Okay, now we may need to do this several times. Look at the canvas shaking. Shaking with all that, with all that power. High voltage power. Okay, there we go. Right, let's grab another brush. I'm going to bit of uh pretty helpful if i had a bit more organizational skills i get a stiff one this time nice stiff brush rather than the soft one okay so we put a little bit of color on there and now i'm going to really plow it on plow it on and this time i'm going to jiggle a bit more okay jiggle like so so there's a lot of paint going on now and it comes that way and it comes this way it starts getting dirty don't carry on move the brush clean it wipe it get some more paint fresh paint and down and down and down down roll 
and we'll come across here like we we said we would do to help if i got some paint and across and across and across there like that and then down here again again this will be the glow effect that we want and across there uh, like so yeah i'm going to leave that to set for a few seconds and again what i mean by set is just give it a couple of seconds couple of minutes just to absorb into the canvas okay because we're going to come back with some really thin white paint once we've teased this out but we want to work on this bottom part so what's on this brush a little bit of nothing really so blue and viridian okay and we want uh, a little wave i think or two about here maybe anyway just let's get some of this involved blue viridian black let's get some good dark colors on the go it's got a bit of white in there as well all right maybe I'm, i may have to put a bit of medium in this a little bit of linseed oil in fact let's just do that a little bit of linseed oil just to thin it a little bit let us move yeah look at that okay that's one wobbly horizon line don't worry about it i'm not <laughs> i'm certainly not okay and straight across where have we gone where have we gone let's get some more of that and go there like that mm, big powerful strokes i don't want it a little bit higher there like so just throw the paint in throw it in and i'm going to leave a spot about here where we can uh where we can uh that's nice and dark isn't it <laughs> a bit too dark anyway it's the corner it's meant to be dark the corners are meant to be dark yeah all right so just blend 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 really push that paint around paint the easel if you need to <laughs> okay right and across there like so now the horizon the horizon in this picture you can hardly see because it's all gonna be misty isn't it it's gonna be moist atmosphere electrically charged atmosphere okay i don't like that little light spot there which i haven't painted so we'll deal with that later but for now in fact we'll deal with that now before i forget okay just put a little bit of that color in there like that and then just tease it in there we go that's that done it is now okay right there we've got it so that's the horizon line kind of done okay there and there and there all right now we can take we can take our our brush which had a little bit of something on after we've got let's get a clean tissue and we'll put a little wave or two in here so i'm just going to rub any of that excess paint away there lint free tissue just rub it away and i'm going to use a little bit of yellow and white yellow and white okay and i'm just gonna hit that there I'm not gonna have a big wave okay because there's not enough space for a big wave but we'll have enough we'll have enough for what we want to do maybe take that out okay like so there we go right leave that to set now we can focus on the lightning so boy we've got a bit of a mess going on down here right so clean palette knife and i'm just gonna just drag this across the whole thing there like that across the whole of the lightning bolt trying to flatten off any of that excess paint and if you pick up a bit too much just wipe it off wipe it off go into the water if you need to okay the great thing about painting lightning of course it's dramatic but it's you in, it's instantly recognizable isn't it it really is instantly recognizable okay so that's that flattened off and we're going to flatten this back a bit now we'll do now like that yes okay now then 
let's take the uh, blender where i put you um there you are okay and i'm just gonna get i'm gonna go from side to side with this okay and that'll give a fuzzy edge to that lightning bolt okay stay away from your clouds if you can but side to side that'll give it a nice fuzzy fuzzy edge okay just tease it tease it tease it into the composition like that okay and down there as well don't leave that out nice fuzzy edge going on looks pretty mean already yeah pretty mean okay palette knife let's take some of this white and gray color okay whatever color I'm running really slow on white here so got to be careful right i'm going to scrape in the top of a wave there and let's take the blender again and just tease that around tease tease gently 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 soften 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 just there like that i can even drag some of that white with it there okay uh over the top do we use another brush or do we just carry on with the the knife i don't know want a bit of splashy action there anyway straight off the palette knife and we'll grab uh again professional videos as always okay i'm just going to grab a touch of white and blue and we'll create the dump of the wave there like so there like that okay uh we can even use this to put in a couple of more swills and things out here I'm just pulling in the direction of the wave there like that okay okay right behind that we're gonna obviously want a bit of movement as well so just just put a bit of movement in there a bit of movement like so the darker the paint the lighter this will look as well the darker the paint that's actually on the canvas not the paint that you're actually painting with because we're painting with pale white paint okay bit of light there that's catching and catching and catching okay there we go so we're getting somewhere i'm going to pick up a bit of dark color i want a little dark blobs or two under there as well just really sparkle that off the darker your light the darker your darks the lighter your lights yeah okay back to the palette knife nice and clean let's grab some of that color uh, again i'm just gonna really toss that up there it's got some greens in it it's got some blues in it okay it's got some yellows in it okay there and i'm just creating this straight off the palette knife I'm blending it there and then a couple of twinkles of waves out there like that a couple of little twinkly things that really set it on set it on it's not setting it on fire is it there well it's nearly dropped the knife what's happening man what's happening there we have it okay what's happening there what's happening there we don't know we'll put something there anyway like that okay let's do the last thing i think in fact we'll just set that down settle it down we don't want those bits at the back to be as strong as the as the bits in the front do we there a little bit of a graze all right now let's get rid of that let's find a liner brush okay and i'm gonna take some white and thin it down okay may need to put some more white out here but we'll see how this looks we're gonna just paint the bolt itself okay so just grab a bit more white paint okay bit of thinner or a bit of oil whatever you want to do to thin your paint down okay 
and let's go up to the top of the canvas this is where it all comes alive now folks where it all comes alive so wibbly wobbly hand okay okay the wibbly or wobbly it is the more dramatic effect we have okay it comes down there like so just like painting trees i suppose you know you, you know the branches on a tree comes down there again most of the leg work's done for you we put all that white paint on anyway so most of it's done for you all you got to do is just put on the final bits these bits like this and then come down there like that and of course we don't want it in front of the water we want it behind the water or the horizon so don't creep it into the water but if you do just blend it in yeah blend it in all right you could spend absolute hours doing this well not hours but enough time to refine it whereas i can't okay <laughs> I can't, not yet, anyway, not today. There, there, and look at that. Nice big lightning storm. And again, just where we've got that on the go, why not a couple of little bits and pieces out here, some swirls, like this. And we've got it, we've got a finished seascape. How easy was that? That one hard. We've recycled the canvas as well. Looks pretty neat, doesn't it? Okay, is it perfect? Definitely not. Can you do it? Absolutely. So if you do do this one, share it with us. Uh, you know, give me a big old thumbs up as well. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. So until next time, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Happy days.